Hi Pirate Folk, uh, Eddie and Estelle. Estelle. Hello. <laughs> uh, it's Fresh Bear Friday. Um, and if you watched our last video, um, we were just seeing how many pints you could get out of the painter. And so we worked out it's a if you want good quality pints, it's about nine. Slightly over. So it performed pretty, pretty well, and you, you weren't expecting to get this much. Well, no, no, I'm quite happy with nine, but it's not yeah. good quality. Yeah, good quality, quality nine. the whole way through, yeah. yeah. So, mysteriously though, okay, we had a pint each. Uh, I have still got a uh, disclaimer for evidence don't, don't, purposes. Yes, but don't finish it. Okay? I'm, apparently I'm not allowed to finish mine. No, don't, because we need it for this. Okay, okay. so, uh, out of the nine, <laughs> we've bottled four. Some mysteriously evaporated, I think. So we've got one left. So if you're bottling, <laughs> and you want to keep it for a later date. Now, I would say it's already fizzy, so carbonation drops. It depends how long you're keeping it for. If you're going to put it straight in the fridge and drink it within a few days, Crafty Fox, carbonation drops, by the way. eBay, I think I got them off, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You'll find them. Search for it them. It says two drops per five. No, yeah, so no, don't. No. Just put one in these. One. But I'll come back to that. So, if you're going to be keeping them for any length of time and you want to maintain the fizz, Put in a carbonation drop, but it needs to go somewhere dark and somewhere warm for at least seven days. And I would probably midway through that turn it over, just give it a gentle rotation, because these can once they dissolve, the the sugary bit can settle in the bottom. So give them a wee turn halfway through, keep them in a dark place for at least seven days, and then just before you're going to drink them, move them to the fridge, and they'll settle out nicely and they'll be crystal clear. But if you're going to drink them. Quite quickly, so for example, if I was going to be playing, imagine if you were going to drink some of them. I know, imagine that, honey. But <laughs> if I was, this is Friday, so fresh beer Friday. So if I was going to be playing golf with the guys on Sunday and I bottle these, I wouldn't be putting a carbonation drop in because it's only going to be a couple of days. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these away for a little while because I've got there's plenty. There's a this is Bohemian Rhapsody. And in the corner, in cosy corner, we've got space hopper. space hopper, and we love space hopper. So we're going to put these away and see and get them nice and clear and warm them up. So carbonation drop an each of the five, and we'll go from there. Now, on to the real purpose of this video. So we've got, we did, we put this on a while ago uh, on how you get a brew on, and Black Beauty here has been looking after my Bohemian Rhapsody which we think is very similar, or I thought, when especially I opened the press. And you sniffed it. Yeah, and I smelled it. I thought that's quite similar to what used to be guest list that's no longer available. So we are going to have a little sample of this. Uh, and seeing as we've got the remnants of West Nuevo, uh, and I know Liam, great guy from uh, Travel and Brews, did a review on ones he bottled, but these are fresh. We're going to have we. We taste and see and see what they like. And again, I'm going to. This is actually. This is an etched glass. Liam has awful trouble with etched glasses. This is an etched one. Shall I, shall I risk it, or should yeah. I get one of non-etched ones? Well, you, you want to do a comparison of both? No, we'll do. We'll, we'll, I'll, this might be a bit slow because I'm going to just take my time. So this is the first pint. I tried it last night when I uh, tapped it. And I just had a wee sneaky, a wee sneaky. It was only it was a wee sneaky, honey. <laughs> Still had gone to bed, so I have a, a wee sneaky. But it was it was only half a glass. <laughs> it wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. You make it sound like I have a chain on the pinter. <laughs> only release it on a Friday. I wasn't drinking without you, honey. <laughs> I wasn't having a pinter without you. I wasn't having a wee sneaky. So there you go, folks. Look at that. So oh, wow. I deliberately poured it in a Smivix glass because you guys over in England, an ale to you is is like cask ale, is like it's like there's no fizz, it's uh, room temperature, and I, I I love real ales. I love real ales, but in Northern Ireland, we've been very used to Smivix and Bass, which are cold, serve cold, and they're fizzy. They don't they come out of lines in a cool room. Same as a larger wood. So we're quite used to, and that, to me, that looks like a dark pint yeah, of Smithix. Like yeah. Well, slightly darker, slightly darker. Mm. In fact, I've got Smithix out in the shed. 
I mean, it looks like a great pint, it really, really does. And actually, it was poured in an etched glass, um, and actually wasn't too bad. It didn't, didn't overflow, didn't go absolutely crazy. So, we're going to, oh, steady, steady. So we're going to pour this for Estelle. She gets the benefit of. So, I mean, put it this way. If you got that in a bar, you'd be reasonably happy. Yeah, it was amazing. It was nice, wasn't it? I was surprised last it's night. It's nearly as dark as this, actually. <laughs> See, that's what, that's the thing. That's the only thing that, even watching Liam's, but Liam's guest list looked dark, but it's not that dark. I think that's darker. That's nearly, that's nearly, um, that's nearly dark matter dark. Can you see? Yeah, yeah, it's really, I mean, yeah, there's a bit of frosting on the glass already with, which is what weather we're having, but it's got a reddish tinge to it. Yeah, but it's darker than Welsh B. Remember well, let's Welsh? Look at the comparison to yeah. West Yeah, West Wales. It's actually Dongle is dark lager, but I mean that's really dark. I mean, that's not cloudiness, guys. That's how that is. That's how dark it is. Thing is, this is. Mm. I got this last night. I thought I. That's actually. That's really you, nice. I'm it's, tasting like chocolatey taste of it actually. Mm. I think that's a really nice beer. It is. It's easier to drink than I thought it was going to be because I wouldn't be a big fan of Guinness or heavy beers like that. Really, really. No. But that's. Guys, this is really nice. That's mm. really dark. Wow. So. It's not guest list. It's it's something else. It's definitely a bit a bit darker, a bit beef beefier, not beefier, but mm, very full taste. But I wish you had I mean, a guest list so we could try the difference to see. <laughs> well, I know, but look, especially I got this last night as well when I tapped it. Oh, you get it actually holds its head quite well. It's got like this creamy. It's like yeah. Coat, I mean, certainly, I've added my usual hundred grams of brewing sugar to this, like I do with every beer. I think it just adds to the mouthfeel, as one of my uh, one of the commenters once said. Uh, it just adds to the body of the beer, and it brings on. I don't. The last thing I want to do is, you know, spend your time waiting on a on a pint or going on, and then it comes out you water watery nice and yeah. weak and just generally yeah. quite nasty. And you've never had a watery one. No, in the time in the time, guys, since you've been watching my videos, I've never really had. Tour. I'm not a great fan of the Pilsner's, they were hard. The Pilsner and the Lager, the not a great fan. American one? No, that mean uh, Western Wales, the American oh, one. No, yeah, oh, or no. the. Um, what am I thinking? Stars and Stripes. Stars and Stripes, again, it was okay. I mean, I think Stars and Stripes was alright, but there's, there's so many good beers that the greater good do. And I think this is, this is yet yeah, another one. This is, this is actually quite nice. I like this. Oh. So, would you prefer Western Wales or. I actually, taste, I thought, well, let me taste Western Maple again, just to be sure. Just to be, you can't be sure. I mean, it's fresh beer Friday. <laughs> mm. Much li lighter, lighter. Yeah, there's more sweetness to that one. Definitely is, yes. Mm. And there's definite coffee slash Do you want bitter, sort of, not bitter, but... Bitter, you bitter that's, that's the word than that one. That's like a cross between a, a, a Northern Irish Smithix mm -hmm. and Dark Matter. Mm -hmm. No, Dark Matter, Dark, dark Matter is obviously it's supposed to be. Stuff. I wasn't a big fan of Dark Matter, but I think that was because it was too similar to Guinness for me. I was definitely a stout, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely yeah, a stout. so I wouldn't be a, a fan of it. But no, I, that's, <coughs> that's really nice. I like that. I like that. It's, got, it's a bit of character about it. Yes. I mean, Liam's very good at, you know, what it's got and the nose and the, ooh, and, the, and he gives it a lot of swell. And, ooh. But that's <laughs> that's just a nice, that's a nice. It's easy to drink. I mm. I would have thought it would have been like dark matter, and I would have, but I no, I really like that. I could drink that. So whatever a dunkel is, it's good. If this is it, yeah, we're happy. Get the thumbs up from us. Oh, you didn't even introduce Jeff. 
Oh. Dog's gone to his bed. We're going to let the sample taster in, the Shall special I special guest Obviously taster. Obviously, we don't let our dog taste beer. No. no. We're going to oh, we're going to get him in the video, but I still have to get him. But guys, definitely, if, if it comes up, don't be scared to grab one of the dunkles and uh, have a go at it. It's well worth it. Well, can you say hello to the people. Come and say hello. This is Jeff, the other part of the family. God bless him. Hello, Hi, friend of folk. Hello. <laughs> so, guys, yes, thanks for joining us again. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll see you in the next video. Um, and I hope we're all going to have a go at this new painter version too and, and see what it's like. So, that'll probably be our next video. And until then, take it easy. Bye. We'll see you then. Bye. <laughs> you go, Wayne.